Welcome back. This is lesson six of uh, session two of machine learning Zoom Camp. And we already talked about a linear regression model and we saw how it works on one simple example. And now we'll try to generalize it to a vector form. So how to uh, talk about this uh, and look at all the matrices we have. So remember, um, remember we talked about this uh, capital X here. So how do we go from this notation to this one? So let's talk about this. So first of all, let's again uh, write it for a single uh, a single vector. So remember we have the bias term and then we have a sum that goes from uh, 1 to n. Then we multiply uh, the feature with its weight. And this is um, this is the formula. So this is how we make a prediction for a specific car. Right? And if you look at this, you can see that this is nothing else but a dot product. So we talked about uh, dot products. This is a vector vector multiplication. And we can actually rewrite it uh, slightly differently using uh, this uh, uh, vector multiplication notation. So this will be vector uh, xe. We transpose it and we multiply it with, uh, sorry, with just uh, uh, the weights, with the weights, uh, weights vector. So like this uh, notation is a bit more compact, so we can uh, implement this. So we already have this linear regression. Um, function let's uh, adjust it so first we will create a function that is doing uh, the dot product and uh, if you remember um, we already implemented this we called it uh, vector vector multiplication uh, so we start with result which is uh, zero and then for each element we multiply them uh, with each other so x i g times uh, w g. And here it's of course sum, and we return the result. So this is dot product. So we don't need uh, here anything anymore. So now what we need to do is uh, the result will be just w zero plus dot product between um, x i and w. So it's really cool that. So yeah, using this function, our notation uh, simplifies quite a bit. So our code simplifies quite a bit. And yeah, so now we implemented this. And as we discussed, uh, actually like this dot, like if we use NumPy, we can just use uh, NumPy's uh, uh, dot. Um, okay, we can make it even shorter. Let's uh, look at this. So now we have this uh, v, uh, this bias term that is kind of hanging out there all alone without uh, without uh, x. So it's kind of we can try to bring it in in this uh, dot product. For that, we can see we can imagine that there is a, um, that there is one extra feature in uh, in our car that is let's call it i0, i1, we'll call it x i0. And this feature is always one. So if it's one, then it means that, uh, so let me just move it a little bit. And this one also. And so if it's one, it means that uh, it doesn't really, uh, affected so we can imagine that it doesn't exist so it's one always so then our uh, vector w becomes uh, w0 w1 w2 and so on up to wn so this is a n plus one dimensional vector so we have uh, n elements here and then one extra one and then uh, this x uh, vector the features it becomes this uh, x uh, i0 x uh, i1 x i2 
two and so on x i n and here this uh, this is just one right? so and when we and when we do dot product between them so when we do this or the other way around we do uh, it doesn't matter so we multiply w uh, zero with one which ends leaves us with zero and then we basically have the dot product between the rest like previously so which is uh, equivalent to what we have and it means that what we can do is just use the dot product notation for the entire uh, for the entire linear regression so let's uh, let's do this so we can call it w new which will be uh, our uh, so we don't need to do it inside so this will be our new uh, vector uh, with weights and uh, this actually this way like if you do plus on python this it uh, creates a new list where it just prepends it at the beginning so this is exactly what we need and now this w new contains uh, the bias term and then the rest of the features right? and then we do the same with xi we just uh, prepend uh, i at the beginning or prepend uh, one at the beginning and now we do a dot product between this and uh, this w new and the the result should be the same so so we see that uh, the result is the same Okay, so now we have this in vector term, in vector form. So now let's uh, go back to thinking about all the examples, not just one. And uh, in this case, we have this uh, matrix, which is uh, capital X number. And then in this matrix, we have uh, once always at the beginning. So this is uh, because we have uh, uh, one here all the time. Right, and then we have uh, for each row we have the the features so let's say uh, it's uh, the, the first row so it's first number one row, row number th two three and four um, so these are the features of the first uh, row these are the features of the second uh, row and so on and then we have uh, for the last one we can even call it uh, perhaps n so for the last one it's or m because we already have n here so it's m uh, and we have x m n so this is uh, uh, this x for us is uh, m by n plus one so there are m rows and n plus one um, uh, columns right in this and then we have vector uh, w. These are the weights. So we have e zero, and w one, and w n. Right. And what we need to do is uh, for each of these rows. So for each of these rows, we multiply a row with this vector, right? And then we do the same with this one, and we do the same with this one. So the result we have is for the first one, it's, uh, let's call it x1, x2, x3, xm. So we have uh, x1 uh, dot product with uh, w, and we have the same for second, and then we have uh, the same for the last one. Right. And this is our uh, predictions. And we do this if we do this for all the rows, all the cars we have in the data set will be our uh, vector y predictions. And so this is what we predict. And you probably can recognize by now that uh, this looks very similar to 
matrix matrix multiplication. In fact, it is matrix matrix multiplication. So what we need to do to apply linear regression is we take this uh, matrix X, right? we take this uh, vector W and we just multiply them. And this is our, um, this is our model. Right? So what we need to do is just perform matrix matrix, matrix vector multiplication. And um, I think we can implement this. So just for, as an example, I'll take this. So let's say we have uh, more, mm, more different observations. So we have an observation that, uh, yeah, remember we need to add once. So let's say this one has 148 uh, horsepowers then 24 miles uh, per gallon, and then it has popularity of uh, uh, 1,300. Then uh, let's take another X uh, and another one. Um, so just make it aligned a bit. So this one, let's say it has 132 uh, horse, horses, and then this one has 300 something. So this is actually the same that, let me just copy it here. So it's not very popular, oops, it's not very popular, but uh, it's very powerful. So this has 25 and let's say it's quite popular. Yeah. So we have these observations and now we can put them into, uh, into a matrix, right? So for that, we just uh, put them, so X becomes a list of lists. You can take a look at this. So it's a list of lists. And if we put this into NumPy, so now it turns this list of lists into a matrix, uh, into two-dimensional NumPy array. Yeah, so we have it. And we have our uh, W new uh, vector, which I'll uh, just show it here. And that what we need to do now is just do uh, the multiplication between this matrix and this vector. Okay, and here we have predictions. So um, now for each car, we have three cars. Now. now for each car, we have a prediction. What is the price for this car? And yeah, so this is how we can actually implement a linear uh, regression. So it will be something like, a linear regression, and uh, yeah, so we have all of that, and we do uh, vector matrix multiplication, right? Uh, linear regression, and we have the results. Okay, so uh, now we know how to do this for multiple uh, rows at the same time. So we first uh, generalized it and went from just writing a for loop into recognizing that this is a dot product between a vector with features and a vector with uh, weights. Then we notice that we can uh, make it even shorter by adding a fictional feature uh, one, like a virtual feature to our feature vector. So our uh, became even shorter. And then we generalize it to uh, like many examples to a complete feature matrix. And we saw that it's actually nothing else but a matrix vector multiplication. And you've been wondering like where these uh, Ws come from? Like how do we set the values for them? And this is something that we will talk about in the next, um, in the next lesson.